I was just too hyped about the wilderness after I got my drop of the rune crossbow. So, um, we're gonna have to find another way. Probably do prayer like really late at night or something when there's no fucking douche hippies fucking trying to kill you. But, um, what is the plan? Now, I guess I'm farming run and then we'll go for 70 Slayer. And I also, when I'm on this farming run, I'm going to camp some of the snake grass because I need to make like 300 prayer pots because we are out. Alright, so I think I'm going to start the quest grind now that I do have the rune crossbow. I'm going to be doing some of my slayer tasks with range. Uh, I've got a lot of mithril bolts that I need to make too that I made for my smithing back in the day. And uh, I'm just collecting some Herbler secondaries now to make some prayer. Then I'm going to try to do Recipe for Disaster in the next couple of days. Um, I'm not sure. I might need to do Desert Treasure or something else. But uh, at least get like Mithril Adamant Gloves at this point would be better than my Bronze for Slayer. And then also with the, the chest I can get more chocolates per day and stuff like that. Which I'm actually farming Harlanders right now anyways. So... Not gonna lie, I genuinely kind of like questing. Alright, look at that! One quest point, 1k cooking, 1k crafting, and 1k farming, and increased access in the chest. 199 quest points, good work. Uh, six members left. I think we're gonna probably do... Can we do Pirate Pete? Uh, recipe for disaster. Pirate Pete. Do we have all the requirements? 31 cooking... And the thing about this one is we'll get that fishbowl helmet, which is going to be sweet for doing um, the seaweed runs. Because I think once you have that, you don't need the oxygen or something like that. Which might be really good also for, um, what are those things called? Uh, lobstrosities. In mind, we also have now access to iron gloves, but I don't think we're going to buy them. The thing about questing on an Iron Man account is it's kind of like doing two quests, which is kind of unique. Um, so basically the first part is gathering all the items as an Iron Man. Like for example, for the Pirate Pete one, I need to get three bronze wires. I have no bronze bars in the bank. I have no bronze wires in the bank. So I literally have to go back to Lumbridge, mine three tin, three copper, smelt the bars, and make the bronze wires. And I just think that's insane. Like I don't have a raw cod either, or a bread. So I have to go pickpocket a bread. I have to go fish a raw cod. It's just, it's so such a different way of playing the game and it's really cool just thought i'm pretty sure they sell bronze bars in alcrid but let's do it the classic iron way don't know why i remember that one being a lot harder and maybe it's because i was a lower level and i like burnt this or some shit but i'm like 82 cooking and i'm fucking getting text messages anyways uh i think i just make sure i don't eat this use this on pirate pete yes and there we go we have one quest point um, 1,000 cooking, 1,000 fishing, 1,000 smithing, 1,000 crafting, and access to more of the chest, and this is our 200th quest point. So that is something, because that is one of the requirements for Dragon Slayer 2. And yeah, so we have five left to go. Slayer Music said to fucking grab, like, five of these things. Oh my god. So, I'm pretty sure the Lumbridge Sage one is really easy, I think. I think that's the one we're going to do next. And then we might do Temple of Ikov because that's a requirement for um, Desert Treasure, I believe. Uh, where is it? Recipe for Disaster, Lumberj Sage. It will be possible. I'm sure it is. All right, so we have the question mark cape or cake now. I think I just have to give it to the Lumberj Guide. And that should be it. That one's pretty easy as well. 2,500 cooking, 2,500 magic. That's it. Um, one quest point and increased access. 201 quest points. Now we have four left to go. What, I, four left? That seems crazy. Um, so we have Evil Dave. Horrible. Monkey Ambassador. Horrible. Oh my god, the last four are just terrible. Um, should we just go ahead and try to do Evil Dave? Get Evil Dave over with? Or... The monkey one's pretty bad, too. Hmm. Actually, they're all pretty bad. We just did the easy ones. God damn it. So, we have a pet kitten. Huh. Should we try to do it with a kitten? I don't know how you check the kitten. Interact? 
Like, how do you check the kitten when it's not RS3? Like, <laughs> I think we're gonna just fucking try it with a kitten. Can't be that hard, right? Yeah, so it turns out that that is impossible. I wouldn't say impossible, it would eventually have gotten done, but in about 10 minutes we got one orange spice, um, so I can see why people said they recommend a full-size cat, it's annoying as an enough with a full-size cat, I don't know what I was thinking, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and just do a bit of skilling for a bit. Um, we got my pet kitten, and we're gonna be feeding him these raw kawamjis things. I think it said, I looked it up, it took, takes a, a three, three? Is that right? Sound right? Um, it takes about three hours to get the full cat, so we're just gonna do some skilling here, and some cooking, maybe some fletching, and finish, uh, making the unfinished potions, and feed this cat, wait for him to grow, and not waste time. I thought about just doing some barb fishing or something, but that's just, like, I don't know. I need to do some bank stuff anyways, so I might as well just get this done and chill a bit. Now, I'm off today, and my entire plans for the day were just to no life or escape the whole day, but this kind of puts me in a little spot. I gotta wait three hours for that, and I uh, don't really want to just wait three hours for the cat, so I might end up doing the recipe for disaster tomorrow. Um, well, finishing it anyways. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure I could easily take it on with these stats, but um, we'll go I'll have to go ahead and see. I just, I'm an idiot. I just got rid of all of these. Oh my god. I'm so used to just training herb lore that way. So, 13, 13, and that should be good. Grow, fat ass. Okay, so... After taking a good look at your kitten, you guess it's that its age is 27 minutes. An approximate time. 2 hours and 33 minutes. Okay, at least there's a way to check it. Fucking hell, I thought it was almost done. Alright guys, so what I, what, I ha what I did is I cleaned all of my herbs and then put them into unfinished potions we got like 900 of those as well so eventually we'll get the secondaries but it's not really my main concern right now um i just want this cat to grow and uh yeah so that's like what i'm doing right now is just waiting for this cat to grow and i have so much monkfish and i'm actually running out because i'm using it for somewhat slayer or something like today i used probably 50 or so doing the uh that boss and just quest in general i'm gonna need some food and i might as well get like 85 or something while this cat grows better than getting what oh, 50k fishing xp or some shit so yeah cooking's a very very fast skill i was debating on getting 90 fletching maybe two or something like that i don't know but I don't want to skill for too long. I want to just get quests done. I want to do Slayer. And, uh, yeah. Coming in with 83 cooking. 4 cooking. Oh, 4 minutes left. Oh, there we go. Your kitten has grown into a healthy cat that can hunt for itself. Nice. Okay, so during that time, we cooked about 2,400 monks. So we made all the unfinished. <laughs> I already got the hell cat. Yeah, I don't know what the problem with this quest is. It's pretty easy. Totally evil, that's exactly... And, uh... Yeah. There we go. Well, what happened? Ah, oh, there we go. 1 quest point, 7k cooking. Ability to make spicy stew, which is going to be awesome for the future. So I saved a bunch of them. Access to Hellcats, which we already have. And 200... And 2, 3 people left. Fucking kidding me, you burn the stuff snake. Oh my god, I have to do the whole quest again. Hey, good luck. We got two more this time. Better not fucking burn it. Oh my god, of course we get this one now. Might as well get the free cooking XP if we can. Wow, we burnt the other one too, so we actually only kept one. So, all we have to do now is go to Lumbridge. And complete. Make sure we use it, not eat it. Um, this one's actually pretty decent, I'm pretty sure. So, hopefully that's it. 
Oh my god, is it gonna go through some huge dialogue? Okay, come on, hurry up. One quest point, 10,000 cooking, 10,000 agility, which is actually insane. Ability to teleport to a patrol, which, I mean, could be useful for, like, woodcutting in the future. I'm not too sure. And increased access in the chest. We have two left to go. Um, for the other one, uh, I need to start the Legends quest, so I'm gonna probably just finish it. So, yeah. We could do the other one right now, I believe. But we'll figure it out. So now we can buy 13 chocolate bars. Which is phenomenal actually per world hop. I think it goes up to like 30 or something afterwards. Which is amazing for the secondaries. Um, obviously for herb lore. And then if we go to buy items. We have adamant gloves now unlocked. So not sure if I'm going to buy those. I have the mithril ones in the bank. But um, yeah we're going to end up getting like barrels gloves tomorrow. So what's the point of me buying the adamant right? So oh, the next big goal on the account um, is going to be to do every single quest besides for like Dragon Slayer 2 for the time being and maybe like the Mornings End series. I want to complete pretty much every other one just so I can clean the bank out because for example I don't know if there's certain things I still need but if I complete most of them like I mean some of them are kind of annoying but if I I mean I'll do like Devious Mines, Desert Treasure, all that but um Dragon Slayer 2, and obviously Monkey Madness 2, um, but other than that, in the Morning's End series, I'm gonna do every other quest until we get a bit of higher combat anyways. There's not too many left, let's go ahead and see. So, easy, 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 eh, easy, we won't do for now. I'm not sure about Dream Mentor, Eagle's Peak, I mean, some of them are gonna be kind of annoying, obviously, like, um... Great Brain Robbery. What the fuck is this one? Oh, that's one of those ones. Um, Rat Catchers. Oh, God. I mean, we have Hellcat now. But, uh, yeah. I, 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 T.I. I want a trio. I mean, there's some that'll be very annoying. But I think we can do it. It's this one. Oh, it's another one of those. Okay, so I think I actually finally finished this it kind of took a long time like literally like two to three hours um you approach the legend main doors do i have to walk in here now maybe okay now i talk to this guy and our little totem pole we got is sitting here um yes i'll train now so we can either do attack defense strength hit points prayer or magic Woodcutting, crafting, or smithing, or herbal or agility and thieving. Um, I'm going to go to prayer, because that's probably the hardest to train on an Iron Man account. 54 prayer coming in. Do I have to talk to him again? Yes, I'll train now. I'm just going to probably do prayer for all of these, because that's insane. Okay, let's go have... <laughs> Let's, use hit, let's do hit points, guys. Um, prayer. 55 prayer, man. Insane. And. Prayer again. Training. And there we go. Congratulations. You have completed the Legends quest. You are rewarded with 4 quest points, access to the Legends guild, and all that prayer XP. Se 207 quest points now and 55 prayer like that's crazy that's actually crazy and the best part about that is now i mean i didn't have to do this to actually finish recipe for disaster but for this one um you have started the legends quest we have finished it so not gonna do it tonight because i'm tired as hell but uh, tomorrow we're going to hopefully finish the Recipe for Disaster quest and get the Barrow's Gloves. Probably we'll do a farm run though before I go to bed, but yeah. One Hunter. Okay, so we finished this one, hopefully. We just use this Cooked Jubbly on Scratch, I believe. And that should be it. There we go. We are ordered with one quest point.
1500 cooking wood cutting range and crafting oh that's gonna be 61 range too and increase access in the chest you have one member left to go and perfect that is the rune crossbow which we actually have so is that just one left for the recipe for disaster so apparently i need sweet corn for the next part of the quest and i have none so i'm gonna have to farm it which is different um iron man by the way so yeah let's go plant this and yeah go ahead and open some of these birds nest while we're here anyways wow pretty nice honestly gonna be some great farming xp wow didn't even open half of them these are just the ones from the birdhouse runs um let's go ahead and price check that wow we start doing trees um this is like my fruit tree seeds and then my tree seeds we got 40 maples we got nine magic some yews i'm just gonna wait for that to grow do some skilling and uh yeah wait for that thing to grow and finish the quest all right we completed the temple of ikov quite easy one quest point 8k fletching and 10k range which isn't bad at all and that is one of the requirements for desert treasure so not bad <laughs>